Hey, it's Victoria here from Fierce Fatty and in this video we're talking about whether it's possible to find love if you're fat. Before we get started, why not check out the links below because I have got a little something that goes along with this video. It's called the Love Finding Breakthrough and it's a workbook that's going to help you find some love going to help change your mindset and get you on the path of finding that special someone who gets to be with you. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the notification button and share this video with friends and if you like it give me a little thumbs up would ya? I'd love that. Okay so if you're worried that you are not going to find love because you live in a fat body I want to tell you it is one million percent normal to feel like that. You are not alone in that belief. Thing is that belief is bullshit. So the reason why we feel like this is because of the way that society views fat bodies. Think about all of the rom-coms that you've seen in your life. How often have you seen a fat character as the love interest? And the love interest where the person who's interested in them is not hypnotized or drugged or has brain damage to think that they're attractive. I'm thinking like Shallow Hal or I Feel Pretty or any of those stupid films. But Shallow Hal used to be my favorite film when I was deep in fat phobia. I was just like, oh, it's so funny that he dated a fatty. <laughs> oh, I hate my fat body. This belief, it's simply not true. So many people date fatties. So 67% of women are plus size. Are 67% of this population doomed to single dumb? No. So you might be thinking, yeah, well, there are other people, but have you seen me? I'm disgusting. Oh, I'm really horrible. They're all pretty, but not me. Well, um, that's bullshit, that's bullshit. So this is hetero data, I'm sorry, but 25% of men said that they would date a fat woman. If we think about 25% of the world's population, hetero, sorry, but roughly, let's say, 50% of the world are men, 25% of them would date a fatty, so that is one billion dicks you have to get through. And you think no one wants to date you? You've got a billion dicks. That's fucking greedy. Oh, what the heck? You've got no one to date you? Bullshit, bullshit. So yes, it is harder to find a date find love, to get sex, if you are a fat person, because we have diet culture, we live in a fat phobic society, all that sort of stuff. So it's not that you're imagining it, it, it is harder, but it's not a fact that you cannot find love if you live in a bigger body. All types of people are attracted to all types of other people, right? So if I asked a survey, the people who are watching this video, what do you find attractive? There'll be so many different answers, right? There's not one definition of what is attractive. Yes, society pushes an idea of what should be attractive, but we've got our own minds and we go after the things that we like. And so many people are deeply attracted to people with bigger bodies. So I used to always think that people dated me despite my body, that they were kind hearted and they looked past the idea that I had a fat body and my other attributes made up for it. So, you know, my other attributes of being like the best girlfriend ever, being so loving and kind and funny and making dinner and all this type of stuff. It never crossed my mind that actually they liked my body. Even when they told me, I like your body, you are attractive to me, you are sexy. I'd just be like, yeah, 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 why are you lying? It's not my partner's responsibility to try and convince me that they are attracted to me. I just couldn't see it. And now looking back at pictures of people who I thought were way out of my league, and I'm like, what the hell are they doing dating me? And I'm like, no, not so much, Victoria. Um, <laughs> you're pretty fucking banging, you know what I mean? So you don't have to accept someone who is dating you who say they're not attracted to you. That's not your fate. You know, you don't have to date someone who is dating you to be charitable, which I don't think people do anyway, you know? I don't think it's really a thing. I know maybe maybe some places, but you know, people generally want to date you because they are attracted to you and your personality and what you've got to offer and your body and all of that stuff, right? So the belief that you're not gonna find love as a fatty is a belief. 
and a belief is not a fact. A fact is something that's 100% true 100% of the time. So it's a belief. That means you can change it, right? You can change it because that belief does not serve you. It doesn't benefit you, right? Because what actions are you not taking if you think that no one wants to be with you? What things are you not doing? Probably a lot of things, right? Because if you know the outcome, no one's gonna wanna date me, you're probably not on dating websites, you're probably not putting yourself out there, you're probably not sending people messages, you're probably not having dates because you have this foregone conclusion that no one wants to date you, no one will find you attractive. So let's change that around. Go to the workbook below, the love finding breakthrough, and let's shift some of those negative beliefs that don't actually serve you and get you to a place where you realize that there are many, many people out there who want to date you, that want to fuck you, that want to be your friend, that wants to hold your hand, the one who wants to give you kisses. There's so many people out there that want to do that, I promise. So download that and if you enjoyed this video, give me a like, share it with people who might find it beneficial, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that bell notification so that you are made aware when my next video comes out and that's uh, every week. So I will see you in the next video, my gorgeous fat queen. All right, see you later.